the Northeast Indiana Innovation Center and WEOC do not just serve people and businesses in Fort Wayne. It's for all of Northeast Indiana. Today, Leslie Hill and Jennifer Romano are here to tell us how they are partnered with the Whitley County Chamber and Visitor Center. So let's talk about that. Why does this matter that you all have partnered together? We have people coming to the chamber who are ready to start a business in Whitley County. And for a long time, we've been looking for resources to really help them get off on a good start with their new business. And this just seemed like a perfect relationship. It's true. It's a great um, opportunity within, you know, chambers are different in every small town. Sure. But Jennifer's really done a great job in that area, and they have um, uh, shared space opportunities, and it just really makes sense with the growth of Whitley County. So why, people may ask, why can't the people just drive to Fort Wayne? I mean, it's a short 20-minute drive. Why can't they come to Fort Wayne? Well, if they're starting a new business, they're likely maybe balancing a lot of different things in their lives. And this gives them an opportunity to fit this in between other things that they have going on. We've got convenient hours that they can come in and get started on their business. And, you know, at the end of the day, they're going to start that business in Whitley County, and we want them to get all the resources they need in Whitley County. So what kind of resources are those? That, that they can come and mm -hmm. get. What kind of things are we offering? On the days that WEAC are the, is there, so when I'm there, we can do one-on-one -on -one coaching. That can be within the chamber walls or I go to their location. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter to me. Actually, it's more fun for me yes, to go to yes. them. <laughs> um, and so it's nice that I can actually be in their space, understand what's going on, see what their hurdles are. So that's the one-on-one -on -one coaching. Then we also do training. So I know, um, was it last month that we did the imposter syndrome yeah. and feeling We have some like pictures, I think. Yeah. Yes, yeah, we have some <laughs> pictures of that stuff. So what was the imposter syndrome training? So this really focused on how so many of us, men and women, but even more so for women, um, we feel like someone's going to figure it out someday. They're yeah. going to walk in and they're going to realize that we have no idea. We're on, working on a college project right now. But that's how everyone is within the business and allowing yourself to recognize that you feel that way and then writing down things saying you know what these are my accomplishments this is what I've done so far I am worthy of this position those kind of things and it was a really great turnout mm -hmm. it was I think really a lot of people realized some interesting things about themselves through the process and it was a good opportunity too to share what WEAC is doing with just our general membership um, people who might maybe just have an idea at this point sure. might see kind of what's being offered and think, yeah, maybe I do want to start a business and this seems like the resources are there to help me. What kind of businesses are you serving in Woodley County? Wide variety. Um, some of the newest ones that have um, come through your program have been a lot of retail businesses mm -hmm. downtown, which is fantastic because our downtown is really undergoing some major change and exciting things are happening there, so it's fun to see some of her clients opening the doors to their businesses downtown and we've had just like two of them within the past month or two yeah so recently opened their doors really right exciting now. exciting that and is then fun. we have businesses that have been in um in operation for years we have um, family counseling we have music lessons um so it really just spans the gamut really so what if somebody's interested uh, who do you contact with questions how do they get in involved well, honestly, they could call either of us, mm -hmm. and we would make that happen. So if you're more comfortable talking with the chamber, um, Jennifer works with me, and we get it all set up. But we really try to have you direct you through the NIC. So if you call just the NIC um, front desk, mm -hmm. then we'll get it all scheduled, and then I can actually see who's on my calendar and make sure that I get there. <laughs> Your calendar is pretty busy, so that's a good idea, yes. I have, you know, because I correspond with you, these are things I know. Yeah. Because we see Leslie run in, we know these things, pretty busy, so it's all good. They are doing great things in Whitley County and all over Northeast Indiana, so please reach out to them if you're looking for their resources. We'll be right back.